Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While QuickBooks time isn't the focus of this course, it helps to know how to manually create time entries if needed. QuickBooks Time has many robust time tracking features that let users enter their own time, as well as many other features. QuickBooks Time and QuickBooks Online should automatically sync information, so the employees you enter in QuickBooks Online should automatically appear within QuickBooks Time. However, to manually force a sync in QuickBooks Time, click the QuickBooks or QuickBooks Payroll button in the toolbar at the top of the QuickBooks Time window to show a drop-down menu of commands. Then click the Import command in the drop-down menu to manually sync. When finished, to view the sync log, click the QuickBooks or QuickBooks Payroll button in the toolbar at the top of the QuickBooks Time window to show a drop-down menu of commands. Then click the View Sync Log command in the drop-down menu to show the sync logs. You can click the X button in the upper right corner of the Sync Report window to close it when finished. To manually add time for an employee, click the Time Entries link in the navigation bar at the left side of the QuickBooks Time window. Then click the Add Time button at the top of the Timesheets tab to open the Timesheet Editor window. To select the employee for whom to record time, delete your name from the Team Member field, and then start typing the employee's name. Then select it from the drop-down menu that appears after you start typing to select them. To select whether to record in and out times or a duration, select either the Time In Out or Duration option button for the type setting. If you select Time In Out, then use the three fields to the right of the Time In and Time Out settings to select a date, enter a time value, and select either AM or PM for the time value. The total hours then appear to the right. Alternatively, if you select Duration, then select the date from the Date Calendar selector, and enter the desired duration into the Total Hours field. To assign the time to a customer or project, click the Customer field, and then select the desired customer or project from the Select Customer window that then opens. The selected entry then appears in the Customer field and the Select Customer window closes. To select a service item, select a choice from the Service dropdown. To indicate whether this time is billable, select either Yes or No from the Billable dropdown. If enabled, select the class from the Class dropdown. To enter any notes, type them into the Notes field. To keep the time editor open after saving the entry to continue entering time entries without closing and reopening the window, check the Keep Editor Open After Save checkbox. To close it instead, uncheck the checkbox. To then save the time entry, then click the Save button. Alternatively, to cancel the time entry, click the Cancel button. To create additional entries, simply repeat the process. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.